Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday, y'all. It is July the 1st. Can't believe it. I can't believe June is gone. We are into our second month of summer. Crazy. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. I haven't seen y'all in a few days. Um, so earlier this week, my family and I um, plus my son's friend, we went on a little getaway, not a huge vacation. It was just a couple of days. Um, we went to a place here in Texas called Schlitterbahn. Um, it is in New Braunfels, Texas, which is um, kind of between Austin and San Antonio. Um, and the whole town is like built on this river. And so there is a water park there where all of the rides are like river rides. You know, you can tube down the river. Um, you can like go sliding, water slides, lazy river, just, it's so much fun. So um, we did that earlier this week and stayed there on the property um, at the resort, had so much fun. It was a little bit hot and the food there was ridiculously expensive, like $17 nachos, seriously. And my son spent like 20 bucks on a funnel cake. Crazy, but we had fun. Um, and so we got back super late last night. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna do a video last night. So here we are today. Um, I look awful, I know. <clears throat> you know, hair is up, there is no makeup on. Um, and I didn't get like too burned. I got a little bit of sun, but I'm talking like I lathered myself up in sunscreen because I did not want to get burned. Um, so we're feeling pretty good today. Today was a lazy day. Slept in so late. Did a few errands. So all of that to say, yes, I'm two minutes in. <laughs> I haven't even told you what this video is. Um, so I am participating in the Round Robin, which um, is hosted, I guess, by Erica Kane, who is the um, owner of Second and Spruce. And I was invited to participate in this Round Robin, and I am like so excited. I've never done a Round Robin before. This is my first one. Um, and so... All of that to say, um, my name was drawn by Susan Fitzpatrick. Um, I believe Catherine King was the first one to get the box and then Susan and Susan draw my, drew my name. Um, if you didn't see her video uh, when she pulled my name, she said, mm, let me give you a clue. This person is a little bit spicy and I love that clue because yes. <laughs> I don't know, here on YouTube and in the wax world, I, I guess I am known as Miss Spicy, and I am proud to say that I love spice. Um, so I was really excited that Susan drew my name, and she sent me the package. So the package did come um, on Thursday when we were gone, but I knew it was coming because I had checked the tracking, so I had my neighbor bring it inside to her house um, because I knew if I left it out, all of these goodies were going to melt. So my neighbor brought it in and texted me and <laughs> actually sent me a picture because um, she wanted to know what this was that smelled so amazing. She said she could smell it through the box and I told her, so she thought that was really fun. Um, so Yes, so it arrived on Thursday. Um, we got back super late last night, but first thing this morning when I woke up, I went over to her house and picked it up and am just now sitting down to film this. I am so <laughs> excited. Um, I have opened the box and <laughs> you guys, okay. So I know Catherine said this um, when she opened up the box and I know Susan also said it. So I guess I'll be the third person to say it. This box is huge. I mean, I wish I could just like show you how big this box is, how much wax is in here. Like, you know, I heard Catherine and Susan say it, but until I'm actually seeing it, I didn't believe it. There is so much wax. Oh 
my gosh. And I'm already five minutes in, so I'm sure this is going to be like an hour long video. <laughs> so I guess I need to stop talking and get into these, oh, these awesome things of wax. It just smells so good. Um, okay, so the way a round robin works is I'm going to go through these wonderful things of wax and I'm going to make three piles or I guess little baskets here. One is going to be a yes of things that I really want to keep and one is going to be a no um, and I will just tell you right here and right now that is going to be a really hard thing for me to say no to some of this stuff, but I'm not going to be greedy. Um, and then I have a third one here that is going to be my maybe. Um, and so I, I really liked Catherine's and Susan's kind of take on the maybe things that I'm just not quite sure about. Um, I'm probably going to put in the maybe bin and then maybe email and reach out to the rest of the group and say, is anybody interested in these? Um, if you are, then I'll put them back in. If nobody really wants them, then hey, I'm just going to take that as a sign that maybe I'm supposed to keep it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my gosh. And one thing that's really exciting for me about this is because I am fairly new to, you know, vendor wax and the wax community, there are some vendors in here that I've never tried before that I wanted to try. And so to see it in here is just like... I'm just so excited because I'm like, okay, now I finally get to try that vendor that I've wanted to try for so long. So you guys, I'm just going to start pulling things out. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. So the first thing in the box is um, from Up the Creek Scents. And I have ordered from Up the Creek before. Love Shannon stuff. Um, this is, okay, I think it's London... And then it says tea and lemon. And it's four of her little yellow squares. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Um, I definitely get the tea. Yeah, it just smells like, yeah, kind of like a, yeah, just a, an iced tea with, a lot of lemon and I'm not the biggest fan of tea scents in wax um, so I'm probably going to put this in my no um, basket I really do like this though but I'm sure there are other people in the group that maybe like tea scents a little bit more than me so I actually can't believe I've put one in no I thought for sure all of these were gonna go in my yes bin um, okay, next one here is Super Tarts, and I have ordered from Super Tarts once before. Um, this is Breakfast Brew, and the time before when I ordered from Super Tarts, um, I only ordered her clams. I think are, these are called like her BAM bags, I believe. Never have ordered those from her. Oh, this is good. Yeah, anybody who's watched my channel or any of my videos... Y'all know how much I love coffee scents. Oh, this is really good. Okay, so I'm probably going to put this in the maybe um, because I might see some more coffee things in here that I might like a little bit better, um, but that's really good. So that's going to go in my maybe. Okay, next uh, we have Savannah Blue. I have ordered from Savannah Blue once before, but some of these vendors... Um, like I've ordered from, but it's been like a long time ago. So Savannah Blue is one I haven't ordered from in a while. Um, this is a souffle in Fraser Fur. I can already tell I'm probably going to want this one. Um, it says true Christmas tree scent. And I love Christmas tree scents. Yeah, this is just one of her souffles. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Mm. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm, mm, I think I might have to say yes to that. Because <laughs> that's really, really good. And I love Christmas tree scents. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that in my yes bin. Oh, okay. Next. We have a bunt from L3. 
This is Christmas PJs, which is downy sugar cookies and blue spruce. Oh, that's good. Um, that's really, really heavy and like strong on the downy. Yeah. I don't even get like the sugar cookies in this. I get the blue spruce, but a lot of downy. Like that's really heavy on the laundry to my nose and I'm not um, a huge fan of laundry. I mean, some laundry I can do, but not like straight up downy. So I'm gonna pass on that one. I mean, it's good, but it's a little bit heavier on the laundry than I like. Oh gosh, there's so much. Okay. <laughs> All right, next we have Zape. I've ordered from Zape before, but wow. Seeing some of these vendors in here is like taking me back because a lot of these, like I said, are vendors that it's been a long time since I've ordered from. Uh, okay, this is Santal, what does that say? Almondel? Not sure. Oh, okay, well the notes are almond, coconut, and nutty shea. That's pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. It it really smells like kind of a coconutty. Yeah, okay. Well, it says coconut. A coconut lotion. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, but I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, that's pretty though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on that. There might be somebody else in the group that might like that a little bit more than me. Okay, <clears throat> um, next we have a bag of mini melters from Rose Girls. Oh, this is double bagged, so thank you. Um, this is the Laundry Fairy, which is lavender freshly folded and put away laundry. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's good, but man, that is very laundry heavy. Oh, it's good though. I mean, it does. It smells like maybe towels or sheets that have just come out of the dryer um, with a little bit of lavender mixed in. So again, I'm going to put this in the no and pass this on to someone who I think might like those laundry scents a little bit more. Okay, um, this I believe is from Woof Wicks. Um, again, that's another vendor I've ordered from, but it's been a while. And these are two like little bone shapes, so cute. Um, okay, I'm sweet potatoes, or maybe like sweet potatoes, maybe. These bones are so cute. Look at that, you guys. Not really sure what that is. Hmm. I know the smell. I just can't. I can't put my finger on what that is. It's good, um, but I'm gonna pass on that. Y'all, I only have one thing in my yes bin. I am like shocked. <laughs> Maybe all of the ones that I'm, you know, gonna love are at the bottom of the box, but I'm gonna pass on that one. Okay, oh, okay, here's a vendor I have not tried. This is Ebony Violet, and this is Strawberry Lemonade, Sweet Strawberries and Tart Lemonade in a souffle. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow, okay, to my nose, I'm picking up a lot more lemonade than I am strawberry, but it's still really good. That's good. Um, I feel like I'm kind of set on these kinds of scents, um, like the lemonade. Um, so I'm going to pass on this one. But I'm excited to see that vendor in here because I've never tried that vendor before. Oh, here's a vendor I have tried and I love. This is Beezy Tarts. Love me some Beezy's. Um, Oh, but you know what? I've actually tried this scent from him. Um, this is, oh, there's two in here. This is Lavender Sugar Cookie. Yeah, I've tried this before from him. It's good. 
and his stuff. Oh my gosh, his stuff is so strong. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Um, yeah, okay, if y'all have never tried Beezy's, like, look, he fills his stuff to the brim. Um, I've had this scent before. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do on this one because I love Beezy so much. There's two, so I'm going to put one in the no or the pass on and I'm going to put one in the maybe just because I've had that scent before but I really like it so that one's going to go in the maybe okay uh here's one from the bathing garden another vendor that I haven't ordered from in forever uh this is I think that says lobe and madness and whoever wrote the scent notes thank you so much this is fruity floral that blends with juicy berries and lush white flowers. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, fruity floral that blends with juicy berries and lush white flowers. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, might be a little bit more floral than I normally care for. So I am going to pass this one along. I'm really shocked that I'm like saying pass on a lot of these. Okay. Uh, might not pass on this one, however. This is Pumpkin Party. Um, on the back, it says Pumpkin Biscotti Cookies, maybe? Walnuts, brown sugar, and caramel. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Wow, that's good. Ah. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I don't know. pass on that one that one's maybe just not heavy enough on the pumpkin like if I'm going to take a pumpkin scent I want like a lot of pumpkin so I'm going to pass on that one I mean that one's really good though and the bathing garden oh my gosh her decorations like what's not to love okay um oh okay this is a vendor I've never tried and I've wanted to try handworks um this is lemon poppy seed Okay, and Handworks, um, that's the vendor that does the little circle clams with like the little triangular pieces. Oh my gosh, let's see how, there we go. Oh, I told myself I wasn't really gonna go for a lot of lemon stuff just because I, I feel like I'm set on lemon, but this is really good. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I might have to say yes to this one um, just because I've never tried this vendor before and I've heard great things about Handworks. So I'm going to put that in my yes bin. That's Handworks Lemon Poppy Seed. Oh, there's so much. Okay, um, I'm assuming this is Super Tarts ST up there in Bella's Blood. Don't have any scent notes on this one. two little pieces. Oh, what is that? I, I know I've smelled this before. It's good. Is, that, is, is it fruity? I can't tell if that's like a fruity thing I'm smelling. It almost smells like it could be a body care. Hmm. It's good. I'm gonna put that in my maybe. Because that's really good and it's really strong. Okay. Um oh, okay. This is one that I saw Catherine and Susan talk about in their videos. And from Super Tards, it's the Jaws. Um, I've never tried any of the Jaws. Um, I've wanted to. So I'm, I'm thinking like 
there's like just straight up jaws, right? And then there's jaws like blended in with things. So this one is jaws and cherry lemonade. Um, looks like it's just like four little shapes. Oh, that's good. I really don't, I was kind of going to say no to this one just because I don't like cherry, but I don't really even get the cherry in this. Um, so I'm, I'm going to pass on this one just because I know there's more Jaws things in here and I'm thinking I might like some other ones more than the cherry. I would just be afraid that the cherry would come out um, on warm and cherry kind of scares me. So I'm going to pass that one along. Okay. Um, I think this is, oh gosh, this is Rose Girls, right? Yeah, I think it is. Um, Blue Sugar, Palo Santo, and Sycamore Tree. And this is like a little chunk muffin. Okay, for someone who is not the biggest lover of Palo Santo, this is really pretty. This is really, really pretty. Kind of leans Christmas, I guess, with that I don't know. What would be Christmassy in here? The sycamore tree? I don't know. It's really, really nice. Um, but because of that Palo note, I'm going to pass it because I just haven't like fully committed to Palo Santo. I'm working on it. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Here's another one from Ebony Violet and it says it's layered souffle. Um, okay, we have Boom Boom Cream Type and Strawberry Pound Cake blended with Pink Sugar Type Fresh Picked Strawberries and Sugar Cookies. Oh, that's, that's pretty. Yeah, it's a lighter scent. I mean, I feel like I get the strawberry, but it's not a super strong strawberry. Yeah, I don't really pick up on the boom boom, but yeah, that's, it's nice. It's just a very soft, light um, strawberry scent. But like I said, I feel like I've really kind of, I don't know, established my collection of strawberry. So I'm going to pass on this one, but I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see Ebony Violet in here because like I said, I've never tried her before. Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, this one has my name on it. Yay. <laughs> um, oh, so sweet. I love, I love the people in this group and I love being a part of this wax community. Like, I just feel like people look out for each other um, because I had mentioned in our group through email that I had never, ever tried, um, sassy girl aroma and I was just dying to try some scents from sassy girl and my name oh so thank you to whoever this is amazing um this is sassy girl aroma deep fried churros like hello that is so scary deep fried churros sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar oh yes please Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, so this is for sure going in my yes basket. Oh, I'm very, very excited to have that. Okay, um, we have a scent shot here, Yummer's Delight, which is a vendor I have tried. And this is Peach Cone. That's good. It's a little bit. Okay, there we go. I wasn't smelling a whole lot, but when I popped it out, it's a little bit stronger on the bottom. That's good. Um, peach is kind of like strawberry. I feel like I've kind of established my peach in my collection. So I'm going to pass on that one, but I do love me some peach scents. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do with this one? <laughs> uh, this is Sassy Girl Aroma, and this is a, like, look at that. That is a big sucker. Um, a huge loaf in strawberry frosted animal cookies. And, okay, like I just said, I've established my strawberry, 
Um, but now I see this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Strawberry jam, pink frosting, sugar cookie dough, frosted sugar cookies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I may have to take back what I said. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, so just scratch what I said about having enough strawberry because this is amazing. Wow. Okay, so here's the deal. I know that we're kind of able to like kind of cut and like slice. So this is so big. Like it says on here, it's 17 ounces. I don't know if I need this much. So I might just kind of maybe cut off a little section. Um, that's probably what I'm going to do because I cannot pass this up. That is such a good strawberry. Wow, is that good. Um, so I'm going to put this in my yes, but I'm not going to be like taking this whole thing because I really don't think I need all of this. That is so good. Oh, okay. Um, next we have, oh, I've seen this one in the other two videos and I was kind of like keeping my eye, hoping I could grab this one. Um, this is a little scent cup here from Sassy Girl in Tis the Season to be Jolly. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> um, oh. This, yeah, I saw Catherine and Susan talk about it and they both put it back in the box and I was like, thank you because I'm going to be snatching this one. That is so good. That is just, to me, that is like the smell, I don't even see scent notes on this, but that is the smell of Christmas. Like, you know how Christmas just has a smell? That's it. I'm keeping this one into the yes it goes. Okay, um, wow, there's, okay. Okay, so here's one with someone's name. So I'm going to put that in the pass along. Here's another one with someone's name. That one goes in the pass along box. And another one, not gonna show you or tell you because it'll ruin it for those other friends. Um, okay, <coughs> uh, let's see. Here is a clamshell from Bathing Garden in Luscious. And the scent notes on this one, um, cotton candy, bubble gum, candied pears, sweet apples, and candy fluff by Lush. And I, oh my gosh, look how cute that is, you guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is very, oh, that's very sweet, like very sweet. It is so fun though. It is so good. I feel like I'm picking up on that bubble gum, but man, is it sweet. And I don't really have a whole lot of experience with Lush. Um, I'm going to pass this on, but that's really, I mean, it's so, so good and so strong, but Maybe a little bit too sweet for me, but yeah, somebody else might really like that. Okay. Um, now here is a Scentsy Bar in Almond Croissant, and I'm just going to stop right here. I know I'm 28 minutes in, but I do have to just kind of say one thing about Scentsy. So on my channel um, several months ago, I did the why wax where we talked about, you know, what got us into wax, why we love wax so much. And in that video, I talked about how, um, when I used to be a teacher, I had a parent, um, in one of my kindergarten classrooms one year when I was teaching kindergarten, the mom of one of my students was a Scentsy consultant and she would just gift me with Scentsy warmers and Scentsy clams. I mean, all year. And that right there was my first and actually my only experience with Scentsy. Um, so I have never ordered from Scentsy. I've only been gifted Scentsy. So I have no idea like really how Scentsy even works. I hear people talk about like putting things in their club. I have no idea what that means. So 
I'm just kind of putting out like an SOS, like, yes, I need help <laughs> becoming a Scentsy lover, as I know so many of you guys are. Um, so I'm really happy to see some Scentsy things in here. Um, oh, this one's good. I can't get it to come out, but so any of you who are watching and maybe you are a Scentsy consultant or, you know, you have experience in that, you know, putting things in your club, no idea what that means, but I kind of want to learn. So yes, I'm asking for a little tutoring session on Scentsy. <laughs> this is so yummy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I might have to snag this one. That's really good. Um, okay, yeah. Putting that in my yes bin. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Tea Time Tarts, which is a vendor I've never ordered from before, but I've heard great things. This is Change is Good, which is sweet dough and lavender milk. And this just looks like kind of a bag of different shapes. That's that's nice. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, that would be a great one, like, for the bedroom or the bathroom. I'm going to put this in my maybe. Um, I feel like I have quite a bit of lavender already, but this being a vendor I've never tried, I might want to try this. So I'm going to put that in my maybe. Um, okay, here's another one from Handworks. This is Swedish Dream Salt. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and this is strong. This kind of like gives me kind of like ocean, beachy, aquatic, like salty sea air vibes. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. I'm going to put that in my maybe. Um, okay, and another one from Handworks, Strawberry Champagne. That's nice. Um, I do, I feel like I, I pick up on the champagne note in this, and I'm not the biggest lover of champagne in wax, so I'm going to pass that one along. Okay, uh, Rose Girls, Mrs. Claus's Nightgown, and I, I, oh gosh, I heard Susan talk about this one in her um, video, and I don't remember, I know she told us what the scent notes were, but I don't remember. Is there laundry in this? I feel like I'm picking up on a little bit of laundry, not like too much. It's like a Christmas scent. Yeah, because I feel like I'm getting some pine in here or like a little bit of a tree. But I swear I'm picking up on like the slightest bit of laundry, but. Oh, it's good. I don't know. I, I might. Okay, I'm going to put this in my maybe. Um, I'm going to think about this one because I do feel like I'm picking up on some laundry. But like I said, it's not. So much that it's, you know, making me say no. <laughs> so that's going to go in my maybe. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, here's a goodie for someone. So I'm going to put that in the pass along box. All right. Oh, okay. So we have two little, or no, yeah, two big, what are these? Brittle snap bars, one from Ebony Violet, one from Sassy Girl. The one from Sassy Girl is Tiffany's Sweet Fudge. Cotton candy, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and vanilla butter fudge. I do love me some vanilla butter fudge. Yes. That is good. Um, that's really, really good. But I think, I feel like I have some sense very similar to this. So I am going to pass this one along. That does smell good though. And like the colors of these bars, you guys are just beautiful. 
Okay, this one from Ebony Violet is Rise and Shine Buttercup. And this is Thai Sticky Rice Dark Coffee Beans and Sugar Cookies. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever had anything with Thai sticky rice. Um, oh, that's good though. Dark coffee beans and sugar cookies. I don't know. I think I'm going to say no to that one just because to me, this is not strong enough on the coffee. <laughs> like I need a lot of coffee, but that's interesting with that Thai sticky rice. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, another one from Sassy Girl in pumpkin creamer, which is a cozy, creamy blend of cashew creamer, pumpkin puree, brown sugar, and a sprinkle of nutmeg powder. I don't know you guys. that's I don't cash and creamer interesting oh it's good um I oh gosh I think I'm gonna pass this along um because like I said my coffee scents that I go for like I need coffee I need either spicy or sweet that's good um but I think someone else might appreciate that one a little bit more than me but it's still very good oh okay there's another one with someone's name all right uh here is a bunt from L3 Christmas at the cabin <sighs> I think this might be a yes wood smoke freshly cut Christmas trees and sweet cinnamon sticks Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's a little... I don't really pick up on the wood smoke. I mean, maybe it just kind of, you know, like makes you think outside, maybe like a tree farm or something, but it's not smoky. Oh, I don't know. This is good with those... Christmas trees and sweet cinnamon sticks. I'm going to put that in my maybe. Okay. Um, uh, I'm so glad this is still in the box. Um, I can already tell you that this is going to be a yes because second and spruce, I have not been able to place an order. So I knew the second and spruce stuff in here, I was going to be really excited to try and grab. This is, I guess, a souffle um, in churros, croissants, and lattes, which is churros, almond croissant, and espresso. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's the coffee I've been waiting for. Okay. Um, that is a definite yes for me. Wow, that's yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, uh, from Teddy Bees, a souffle in Tiff's favorite lavender. Oh gosh, her scent notes are so small. Lavender, sweet marshmallows, vanilla coconut milk. That's nice. Um, that's really, really pretty. But I'm gonna pass that one along. Um, Cause I do feel like I have a lot of lavender and so the lavenders that I'm kind of looking for, I kind of know, you know, what I'm searching for. And that's really pretty, but I feel like I have a, some others in my collection that are very similar to that. Okay. Um, oh gosh, is this, I think this is Rose Girls. Um, circus Concession, which is Macintosh apples, cotton candy, frosting, caramel, and funnel cake. Oh, I've heard great things about her circus concession. And I've never been able to try it, so I might want to say yes to this. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Um, this is just like giving me like carnival vibes or state fair vibes. 
Um, and I've said, you know, here in Texas where I live, our state fair comes in September. And so like that just smells kind of like a caramel apple. I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> okay. Another big, gosh, what are these? Brittles? I don't know. Snap bars. Sassy Girl in strawberry soda. Uh, bubbly strawberry, juicy raspberry, peach, vanilla, and musk. Ooh, that's really good. And it really does smell like a strawberry soda. Like I feel like I get, you know, kind of the fizzy bubbles. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, gosh, I think I'm going to pass this one along. Um, it's really, really good though. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever had like a strawberry soda. But that's that. Ah, that's good. Okay. Um, we have a little six pack from that Smell Good Shop in Pinstripe, which is pistachio and sugar. Oh my gosh, 40 minutes. <laughs> There's still so much. Um, pistachio and sugar cookie. Oh, that's good. That's so good. I don't have a whole lot of pistachio in my collection, so I'm going to put this in the maybe. Um, but that smells really yummy. Okay. Oh, here. Okay. Here's another Jaws. Uh, this is Jaws and Sweet Berries. I like this one. Oh, yeah. I really like this one. Um, I'm going to put that in the maybe just because I want to see what other Jaws things are in here. Um, super tarts. This is funnel cake and black cherry. That's good. I'm a huge, huge fan of black cherry. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to hold on to this because I do. I like black cherry. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. <laughs> okay. Um, from vintage chic scents. There's No Place Like Home, which is PPW, two of her little tiles. I love me some PPW. Y'all know I love me some PPW. And this is good, but I, believe it or not, I am going to pass this one along um, because I, I do have a lot of PPW in my collection, so I'm going to be... I'm not going to be greedy. I'm going to pass that one on. Okay. Uh, from L3, Grandpa's Black Cherry Pipe Tobacco. I can already tell you I'm probably going to be passing this one on because I'm not a fan of tobacco scents at all. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pass that one on because I'm sure there are other people in the group who like those kinds of scents more than me. Okay. I see some more Scentsy in here. Okay, there's one with somebody's name. All right, so here we have coconut lemongrass. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that is very, um, that is very bright and refreshing and like clean. Like that would be an amazing one to put on on a cleaning day, but I'm not super, you know, in love with lemongrass, so I'm gonna pass that one along. Okay, um, we have a souffle from Ebony Violet, the debutante, strawberry, what does that say? Mango, raspberry, guava, and fizzy soda. The color of that is gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. I love fizzy scents and especially like fizzy with fruity. Um, I'm going to put this in the maybe because I really do like that. All right. Rose Girls, Autumn Mountain, Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and PPW. Oh, that sounds like a Carrie scent. And it's a Carrie scent. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm... I feel like I'm doing pretty good. My yes bin is not that full, so I think I'm going to keep this one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep that one. 
Okay. Um, I'm almost done, you guys. Another one from the Bathing Garden in Whimsy, which is bergamot, orange, pineapple, lemon, banana, and coconut. This one is good. Oh, wow. I want to try to pop it out because sometimes you can get more on the bottom. This one is really fun. This one almost gives me like pina colada vibes. Um, oh, I don't know. I may have to keep this one. I'm going to put that one in the maybe. Um, yeah. Okay, another Scentsy Caramel Chestnut. I've heard great things about this scent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see the hype on this one. I think I'm going to hold on to this one. Um, that's really good. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Okay, I'm getting there, you guys. All right. So we have Rose Girls Best Friends Forever Best Friends Forever Club. Lemonade, pineapple, and frosted cupcake. This one is good. Yeah, it's really good. I, I get the lemonade and I get the pineapple, but um, I do have um, some pineapple scents from Rose Girls already, so I'm gonna pass this one along. Another Rose Girls Beach Bonfire in the Back Roads. Bergamot, ginger, vetiver, pine, campfire, marshmallow, vanilla lace, and marshmallow fireside. This is this is nice. Um, yeah, that's really good. But again, um, I feel like I have something similar i i ordered something from rose girls not too long ago with her um like bonfire beach bonfire so i'm gonna pass that one along as well wow this is huge you guys okay sassy girl aroma on the pier which is caramel drizzled popcorn with sweet candy apples blended with sweet cream and a touch of sea salt and i'm not even sure like this just looks maybe like I guess maybe somebody cut it up. Maybe it was like one of her big brittles and it's cut up. I don't know. There's a lot of pieces in here. Oh, I love, 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 love this. Okay. Um, so I'm going to keep this, but I, I might, um, because there's a lot in here. So I might, oh, this is so good. I don't want to be greedy and take this whole thing, so I might email the group and, you know, see if anybody is wanting some of this, and I might just take, you know, maybe like half, because that is amazing. That is amazing. So, yes, I'm going to say yes to this, but I may not take the whole thing. I may just, like, put a little bit in a bag for myself, but that's really good. Okay. Um, all right. L3, Bunt. Snug in their beds, vanilla lace, snuggle type, and Fraser fur. This is really pretty. Like, it's so funny. I'm not a lover of laundry, but some of these laundry blends are just really, really pretty. I'm going to pass this one along um, because I do kind of detect that snuggle type, but it's still really, really nice. Okay, another Rose Girls in Bear Claws. Oh, that's good. I love me some Bear Claws. I'm going to put this in the maybe um, because I feel like I have some other Bear Claw scents, but that's one, that's a really good one. So I'm going to put that in the maybe. Okay, Rose Girls, Vibing, Bamboo, Sea Salt, Ocean, Hemp, Grass and green vetiver. Oh, that's good. That's like, yeah, that's like a very just fresh, clean, kind of aquatic, maybe. Oh, that's, that's really nice. Like, that's really nice. I'm going to put that in the maybe. 
I didn't think I would, but the more I smell that, it's really, really pretty. Maybe. Okay. Um, oh, I'm almost to the end, you guys. Okay. Oh, here are the other jaws. Okay. So this is Jaws and Black Raspberry Vanilla. I like this one, but I think I like the other one. I picked up a little bit better, so I'm gonna pass that one on. And this is Jaws and Blue Sugar. Yeah, this one is good too, um, but which one was the one I got? Oh gosh, I don't even remember. Um, which one did I get, you guys? I know I picked up, sorry. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I got the Jaws and Sweet Berries. Okay, I think I like that one the best out of all the Jaws. So I'm actually gonna take that one out of the maybe and put that in my yes. Um, Cause I knew I wanted a Jaws, I just wasn't sure which one. So yes, I'm gonna hold on to that one. Okay, um, here we have one of the good ones. I'm assuming that is a Rose Girls bag. I'm not sure what this is. It smells a little bit masculine to me. Um, so I'm gonna pass that one on. Okay, um, Rose Girls, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. I love me some Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. And this is really good, but I do have quite a bit of Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies in my collection, so I'm going to pass that one on. Okay, here we have, oh, this is one that I've wanted to try. Spruce Willis from Rose Girls. And this is so cute. This is like a little Christmas tree shape. Oh, that's good. I don't even know what the scent notes are of Spruce Willis. Um, that's good. Oh, I think I'm going to keep Spruce Willis. Because I've, like, that's one that I've heard just amazing, amazing things about. Um, so yeah, I'm going to hold on to Spruce Willis. Okay. We have two Scentsy things here. Um, one is Apple Butter Frosting. I've heard great things about this one. That's good. That's really good. But I think um, between the caramel chestnut and the apple butter frosting. I think I'm going to go with the caramel chestnut. So I will put the apple butter frosting in the no. And then we have vanilla waves. I'm going to try to keep this under an hour. This is good. It's just kind of, yeah, it's just a vanilla scent. Um, and I, I do like vanilla scents, but I, you know, I would rather pass this on to someone who likes maybe vanilla scents more than me. So I'm going to pass that one on. Okay. Uh, we have a huge loaf here from L3. Oh, in coconut, vanilla wafer, exotic coconut, salty sea air, and boom, boom. Y'all, I don't think I've ever had like a, a I've had her what is it, Bitty Betty Loaves? I've never had a full-size loaf from L3. This is good. Yeah, this is really, really good. Ugh. I think I'm going to pass that on, but that's hard because that's really good. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass that one on. Okay, another loaf here from L3 Waxy Wonders in Christmas Cookie Therapy, which is eggnog cookie therapy and a hint of gingerbread, Santa's on keto pretzel sugared shortbread. This is good. Oh, okay, yeah, this is this is good. So this is gonna be yes, but I don't need a huge loaf of this. So what I will do is, it is going in my yes bin, but I am only just going to like cut off just a little section because yeah, I don't need a huge loaf, but 
Um, I am going to keep a little bit of that for myself. Oh, and thank you, Erica, so much. Looks like Erica put some bags in here, which I will need. So thank you so much for that. Okay, three things left, you guys. All right, we have a little sample here from Southbound, and this is Fright Night. Oh, what does that say? Melon, citrus, sandalwood, and cedar. That's pretty. Ooh, I like that. I haven't ordered from Southbound in forever. That's really pretty. Very different. Um, but I will pass that. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I'm going to pass that on. It's good, but I'm going to pass it on. Okay, two things left. Um, this is Second and Spruce. Looks like a little loaf mini loaf in cookie jar, which is chocolate chip cookies, sugar cookies, and sweet cream. Oh, that's good. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. Definitely get the chocolate chip cookies. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. Okay. So I already grabbed one from second and spruce. So I it's hard, but I'm going to pass this one on. I don't want to be greedy. I want to share with other people. And then the last thing here is um, from Southbound in, I guess, a bakery bag, which is Fall Brew, Cider Donuts, Vanilla Bean Noel, Frosted Graham Crackers, Ice Cream Scoop Bread, and Cream Cheese Frosting. Oh, so cute. Look. It's like little shapes. I just smell this. That's good, you guys. That's really, really good. Cider donut. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to put that in the maybe because that is really, really, really good. Okay. Wow. 56 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to be under an hour. That's that's good. All right. Um, so I have my goodies here. There are um, three things, though, that I am not going to keep the entire thing of. Um, so I have the uh, loaf from Sassy Girl Aroma and Strawberry Frosted Animal Cookies. I'm only going to just, you know, cut off a little bit of that for myself. And then also the Christmas Cookie Therapy. I don't need that whole thing, so I'm just going to cut off a little bit of that for myself. And then I'm going to email my friends in the group about this on the pier um, and see if anybody is wanting, you know, some of this. Um, then I'm happy to just take, you know, a few pieces. Um, but if nobody else wants it, I will gladly keep this entire thing because that really is so good. Um, wow, I'm proud of myself. I did not keep as nearly as much as I thought I was going to. So I have my yes, I have the pass alongs, and then I have my bin of maybes here. So for my bin of maybes, I'm going to also email the group. And if anybody, you know, is really, you know, has their heart set on any of those in the maybes, then I'll put back in the box. Otherwise, I'll keep them myself. Um, and then I will replenish this um, box with, um, I'm going to weigh the goodies that I'm keeping and then replenish the box with the same amount of stuff that I kept for myself. So, okay, before I tell y'all bye, I have my little container here. Draw a name from me before you close out your video. So I am going to draw out a name, but I am not going to tell you who it is. I'm going to try to give you a hint. Um, I'll be honest, a lot of people in this um, round robin are new to me friends. So I don't know a whole lot about some of the people in the group. Um, I may not even know enough to give y'all a clue, but I'm going to do the best I can. Um, and oh, I totally forgot to tell you. I'm telling you, I think I'm still on vacation brain. Um, the heat really got to me because I totally forgot to tell y'all who is participating. Um, and I don't really want to even like tell you right now because I'm afraid if I did, I would leave somebody out 
but I am going to put all of their names down below in the description box. Um, so please check that out. Um, and I'm going to draw someone's name here and then I will mail out this box of goodies to the next person. Okay, so I'm gonna shake it up and I'm drawing a name, I'm drawing a name. One, two, three, pick. Oh, they kind of stick together. Okay, so I have my little piece of paper here. I'm looking. And, oh, yay! Um, okay, so this person, yes, so I've been friends with this person on, um, on YouTube for, for quite a while. She was actually one of, um, the first, um, YouTubers I started watching when I started my channel. Um, I love just like her, her whole like demeanor. Um, she loves wax as much as I do. Um, I know she's a mama just like I am. And I'm really excited to pass along these goodies to her. So that's all I'm going to say. I can't tell you any more, but, um, but she will have a box of goodies coming her way soon. And guys, I've already kept y'all over an hour. Oh, I think I went longer than both Catherine and Susan. I'm so sorry, but that is it. You guys, thank you so much for clicking on and watching me go through this huge box of goodies. It was amazing. I'm just so honored to have been asked to be a part of this. And um, yeah, that is all I have for y'all. So y'all have a great rest of your night and be watching um, the round robin videos to see who's getting the box next. Bye guys. Take care.